Welcome to the, the third webinar in the All Plan Technical webinar series. Uh, this one today is entitled An Introduction to Advanced Reinforcement Modeling. So to begin with, we have the geometry, so it's really to show you that all the types of the, the concrete geometry or whichever, that can be also modeled um, within All Plan. The, the modeling engine within All Plan, um, the power solid modeling, it's a a true curve that we've, we've modeled there. So it's a, a true curve as opposed to a, a faceted profile along the path. Visual aspect of the of the, the model by applying what we call surfaces to objects. So as you see there, I've applied a, a concrete surface so that it, it, it represents a, a concrete object. You don't need to use a, an, another complex modeling system to create this kind of volumes or, or any sort of um, external software you can all of this geometry can be created and defined within all plan as well automated way of doing this is we have a couple of tools within all plan what we call a smart part which is essentially a parametric tool which we can use to create the the tendon in this instance so here we can define the sort of fix hint at the, the start and the end of the tendon and also with this tool you can actually read in the data from an external file again this the sweep profile if we have a bridge it's such volume in that obviously at the start of the bridge the the, the reinforcement is is one shape and then if it varies along the bridge which in this case it does i can say well this is the shape at the beginning and then in the middle and then at the end of the bridge so by selecting the shape along the path and then i can go to the the 3d view and then naturally i can pick the path so the the paths here you see I, I select the edges around that part of the bridge so this is the if you like again the boundary of, of where the bars are placed because obviously the the top of the of the uh the deck is a different path vertically to the bottom so by selecting the surrounding paths of the edges of the profile then i it, i get a, a more accurate placement to suit the, the profile and once the model has been built as you can see here i can simply using the reporting tools i can select which standard i would like to create the report to in this case the british standard for me and just by double clicking to select the full model this will then give me a, a full schedule based on that model